all that we are is the result of what we have thought to understand everything is to forgive everything no matter how hard the past you can always begin again do not learn how to react learn how to respond the gift of truth excels all other gifts don't rush anything when the time is right it will happen those who are free of resentful thoughts surely find peace it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light we must be willing to be completely ordinary people which means accepting ourselves as we are without trying to become greater purer more spiritual more insightful if we can accept our imperfections as they are quite ordinarily then we can use them as part of the path but if we try to get rid of our imperfections then they will be enemies obstacles on the road to our self improvement day by day be content with whatever you have and satisfy with whatever happens everything else will then fall naturally into place to be a spiritual warrior one must have a broken heart without a broken heart and the sense of tenderness and vulnerability your warriorship is untrustworthy we suffer because we want life to be different from what it is we suffer because we try to make pleasurable what is painful to make solid what is fluid to make permanent what is always changing we are always in transition if you can just relax with that you will have no problem whatever we do lays a seed in our deepest consciousness and one day that seed will grow ultimately that is the definition of bravery not being afraid of yourself loving kindness towards ourselves doesn't mean getting rid of anything it means we can still be crazy after all these years we can still be angry after all these years we can still be timid or jealous or full of feelings of unworthiness the point is not to try to throw ourselves away and become something better it's about befriending who we are already in the garden of gentle sanity may you be bombarded by coconuts of wakefulness it is our mind and that alone that chains us or sets us free we cannot change the way the world is but by opening ourselves to the world as it is we may find that gentleness decency and bravery are available not only to us but to all human beings meditation practice is a way of making friends with ourselves whether we are worthy or unworthy that's not the point it is developing a friendly attitude to ourselves accepting the hidden neuroses coming through mindfulness does not mean pushing oneself towards something or hanging on to something it means allowing oneself to be there in the very moment of what is happening in the living process and then letting go it is possibly to be completely enlightened except with your family the experience of a sad and tender heart 
is what gives birth to fearlessness conventionally being fearless means that you are not afraid or that if someone hits you you will hit him back but we are not talking about the street fighter level of fearlessness real fearlessness is the product of tenderness it comes from letting the world tickle your heart your raw heart you are willing to open up without resistance or shyness and face the world this is bravery using the challenge of daily life to sharpen our mind and open our heart good and bad happy and sad all thoughts vanish into emptiness like the imprint of a bird in the sky sometimes people feel disappointed when they hear about practicing compassion you mean i have to be nice it's a kind of let down we often overlook compassion seeing it as merely a pit stop on the way to more advanced practices we want something more we don't even know what but that's just a trick of our mind one of the greatest teachings is to practice compassion a great deal of the chaos in the world occurs because people don't appreciate themselves difficult things provoke all your irritations and bring your habitual patterns to the surface and that becomes the moment of truth you have the choice to launch into your loosey habitual patterns or to stay with the rawness and discomfort of the situation and let it transform you the everyday practice is simply to develop a complete acceptance and openness to all situations and emotions and to all people experiencing everything totally without mental reservations and blockages so that one never withdraws or centralizes into oneself we are threatened by the now so we jump to the past or the future if you want to be miserable think of yourself if you want to be happy think of others the best spiritual instruction is when you wake up in the morning and say i wonder what's going to happen today and then carry that kind of curiosity through your life we say that the sun is behind the clouds but actually it is not the sun but the city from which we view it is that is behind the clouds if we realize that the sun is never behind the clouds we might have a different attitude toward the whole thing be kinder to yourself and then let your kindness flood the world there are no boundaries only possibilities